Welcome back to Milli E F X. Ha! <laughs> as you could see, as you could read by the title today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a NAS 100 full, in-depth, detailed, exclusive, crazy, epic breakdown. You know how we do it. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. You gotta watch this video till the end because this is about to be epic. As we always do, we always start off from the date, not the daily, from the monthly time frame. As you can see, what do we have here, right? We are going to start off by marking up our zone. So we have our height. Remember now, when we're in a downtrend, we go, we go lower highs and lower lows. On the monthly time frame, as you can see, we were in this nice uptrend. We was pushing, we was pushing, we was pushing. On the monthly time frame and now price has reversed and started to give us some lower highs and lower lows so we have a high we have a lower high here we have a lower high here so basically we have a a, a low here so as you can see we have a high we have a lower high this is a lower high now we need price to actually break below we need price to break below this area because we have a high, lower high, lower high. We have a lower low. Now we need price to break below this monthly support. Go down. Give us a lower low and then another lower high. So what is my bias for NAS 100? my bias is sells because as you could see the momentum of the market has switched so from uh, december from the first of december 2021 onward we was pushing down on the monthly time frame you don't want to be trading against the monthly time frame the weekly time frame and the daily time frame so what do we have here? let's drop down to our weekly time frame and as you could see those same lower highs and lower lows is actually very 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 cleaner on the weekly time frame let's go to the daily time frame as you can see on the um the monday time frame we saw a height lower height lower height now let's check it out on the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we have a height we have a pullback we could actually see our lower low even better so we have a height we have our low, higher low, we have our lower low, we have our lower high, and now you can see price is actually giving us a double bottom. So what do we need to see on the weekly time frame? Remember, price, when price is trending up or down, when price is trending down, we need lower highs and lower lows. What, what are we getting? We are getting lower highs and lower lows, lower highs and lower lows. So in order for us to in order for us to be on the right side of the market and actually catch the wave with the trend, we will need to see a break of this weekly support. Let me draw it. I'm telling you guys this is a very in-depth detailed video. So we need to see a break of this weekly support. We need a higher low. And then we need that continuation to the downside. Check it out, guys. It's that simple. We already know the momentum of price has switched on the monthly time frame. Price was giving us higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. If you look, if you look left, price was giving us higher highs and higher lows. And then we had the momentum switch. Instead of price giving us a, a higher low, price gave us a higher, a lower high. Let me say that again. Instead of price, when price was pushing up in a upward trending market, price was giving us higher highs and higher lows. When we got to this point, price never gave us a higher low. Instead, price gave us a lower high. And this is the lower high right here, what I'm talking about. That's why you have the like, you have the, you have to know um your biases on the on the higher time frame on the weeklies and the dailies and the monthlies and you won't go wrong so check it out price gave us a nice right 
higher low and a lower low. This low is lower than this low. And this low was the previous low. So we know the momentum of the market has switched and what the pr price do as soon as we get that, that lower high price tank. What the price do when we get that, that other lower high price tank? What is price going to do once we get this break and this retest? Price is going to tank. I'm letting you know that now. Price is actually going to tank because we are trading with the momentum of the market. We are trading with the momentum of the market. We are trading with our lower highs and lower lows. So why would you trade against the momentum of the market? You just need to know structure on the bigger time frame. And you're going to be okay. Even if you was a scalper, you still need to know um, structure on the bigger time frame. If you're an intraday trader, you still need to know structure on the bigger time frame. If you're a swing, a swing trader, you definitely need to know structure on the bigger time frame let's drop down to the daily time frame as we could see as we could see we already know the weekly time frame this is that i'm um, the higher low on the weekly time frame so price went down so as you can see if you were to start selling at this weekly higher low you had so many days to catch sales so many days to catch sales so many days to catch sales it's crazy. You had, I'm talking weeks, weeks of sales, weeks of just sales and making a lot of money. But in order for me to actually think about taking a sell, I would need price to break below this weekly slash daily support, come back, retest it, and we could continue taking sales. But you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Once we get that nice breakout and then that retest, then we could continue to the downside. And guys, that is basically what I would be looking for even though I don't trade NAS 100. I don't trade indices. I only trade one pair and that's EJ. But if you could trade EJ, if you, could, you could trade stocks. If you could trade stocks, you could trade melts. If you could trade trading is trading. The market is the market. The structure is key. And if you know structure on one time pair, you will know it on other pairs. So, guys, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know if this was a full in-depth breakdown of NAS 100. Subscribe. See you in the next video. Gang.